Stories with a voice like this present Three Wise Old Couples Written by Mrs. E. T. Corbett And illustrated by Livingston Hopkins Three Wise Old Women Three wise old women were they, were they, Who went to walk on a winter day. One carried a basket to hold some berries, One carried a ladder to climb for cherries, The third, and she was the wisest one, Carried a fan to keep off the sun. But they went so far, and they went so fast, They quite forgot their way at last, So one of the wise women cried in a fright, Suppose we should meet a bear tonight, Suppose he should eat me, and me, and me, what is to be done cried all the three dear dear said one we'll climb a tree there out of the way of the bears we'll be but there wasn't a tree for miles around they were too frightened to stay on the ground so they climbed their ladder up to the top and sat there screaming we'll drop we'll drop but the wind was strong as wind could be and blew their ladder right out to sea So the three wise women were all afloat in a leaky ladder instead of a boat. And every time the waves rolled in, of course the poor things were wet to the skin. Then they took their basket, the water to bail. They put up their fan instead of a sail. But what became of the wise women then, whether they ever sailed home again, whether they saw any bears or no, you must find out, for I don't know. Three Wise Old Men Three wise old men were they, were they, Who went for a stroll on a summer day. One carried a gun that did nothing but snap, One carried a club and a cricket cap, But the wisest one, to keep off the heat, Wore an ulster down to his feet. They strolled and they strolled till they came at last To a monstrous whale in the ice made fast. Then the hunter began his gun to snap, the clubman tossed up his cricket cap, while the man in the ulster smiled as he cried, Under my coat I mean to hide. But alas, his voice had frightened the whale, flop went the creature's terrible tail. It scattered the wise men far and wide, with the fall and the fright they must have died. But the three wise women appeared just then, and ran to rescue the helpless men. Into the basket the hunter crept. Up the ladder the clubman stepped. The man in the ulster smiled and said, Hold your fan, please, over my head. So back to their homes the travelers went, with these adventures well content. Three Wise Old Couples Three wise old couples were they, were they, who went to keep house together one day. Upstairs and downstairs one couple ran, he with his ulster, she with her fan. Fresh air, quoth the wife, is the thing for me. Shut the windows, I'm freezing, cried he. The second couple, with basket and gun, went hunting for spiders one by one. Into the corners they poked and pried. Here's one, I'll shoot him, the husband cried, while his wife exclaimed, When the basket's full, we can use the spider's web for wool. But the wisest couple of all the three said, We will a traveling circus be. You, said the wife, the bear must play. Up on the ladder you ought to stay. And I'll carry the club because, you know, I'll have to beat you your tricks to show. But the man who learned the bear to play lived on the ladder for many a day. He stole the club, and he wouldn't come down, so his poor wife carried him through the town. And all the people said, Let's go to see the bear and the circus show. So the man in the ulster was frozen stiff, while his wife did nothing but fan and sniff. The hunter was stung by a cross old spider as he very imprudently sat down beside her. And his wife, who was gathering webs for wool, 
used him to make up a basketful.